10 degree difference, boy. It makes a difference. Mm -hmm. The problem is we gotta get through more of this heat before we can get there, but it is coming. Ooh. We do have a cool down finally <laughs> coming to Central Texas as we get on into next week. Let's take a look at your weather headlines today. It's still going to be hot. We are watching some showers this morning, but those starting to fall apart and into the weekend. It gets even hotter, but next week, Next week is what you want to pencil in when we finally get a little break from this big heat that's in place. The so Live Radar Network tracking a couple of showers now in Hamilton County. Uh, those also to the north of Comanche. You can see one of those downpours there south of Comanche. That's going to be near Gustine, rolling towards Pottsboro. Just some light rain falling in Hamilton right now. Also just to the south of Gulfway, a little bit of a downpour. That's it. Now, as these storms die, they are putting out some cooler air, and that may act to trigger a couple of more this afternoon, but those will be northwest of Waco Temple Clean. So don't expect widespread rainfall anywhere soon. Just some isolated showers still possible this afternoon. 80 degrees out there right now. Feeling like 84 in Colleen. Waco's at 79. 80 in Temple. 81 in Hearn. And 82 in Bryan College Station. What is guaranteed? We're all going to be dealing with the heat today. Feel like numbers heading above 105 this afternoon. That heat advisory in effect for everyone in those pink counties. Even though you aren't under it officially in San Saba County, go ahead and act like you are. The heat's still going to be around. 90 93 at noon, 103 this afternoon. That feel like number that could get near 106 to 108 during the late afternoon. We shouldn't break a record today, though. Our record 104 in 1990 normally should be at 93. So we're still dealing with this very above normal temperature readings that we are getting. High pressure is going to continue building in as we get into Thursday. Look at those showers going around us. By Friday, it may have backed off a little enough that we get a small chance of rain around those game times but I think that we'll stay mainly dry across the area. Once we get into next week, though, that high backs off to the west. That is going to allow disturbances to bring rain chances and eventually this cold front to swing through as we get on into Tuesday and Monday, and that could bring not only beneficial rain of half an inch to an inch, but look at the 10 day forecast and the cool down that's coming. 107 on Friday, look at next week, 89, 88 and 89 there, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. It's been a long time coming. Well, there's a shortage of substitute teachers right here.